watching. So today is going to be my Avon haul. Sorry, I have like little empty pieces in this box it's rattling around. Um, I just got my Avon order on Saturday, so I have already dug into everything just to make sure I got everything that was on my invoice. And I have quite a few things to go through. There's some jewelry, there's some skincare, there's some randomness. And of course there's makeup. So I am going to get started. Let me start off by showing you guys the necklace that I have on. This is the new Lilac Dream set. It's the necklace and then the ring. It fits on my thumb. I have extremely thin fingers, so. But it is adjustable. You can resize it to be bigger or to be smaller. But even at the smallest, it's still kind of loose on my thumb. So, but this is it here. I'm really into purple, obviously, so that's why I wanted it. And it's super pretty and it sparkles in the sun, so. Perfect. The next necklace that I got is this one here. What is it called? This one is called the Dancing Shimmer Necklace, and it is just another really pretty, it's like um, floral, like they're little flowers, but they're all like white rhinestones. This is another gorgeous necklace that is going to like just shine in the sun. Super excited to wear that. And it has the gold chain. I ordered these rings, or it's a ring set from Mark. They're called the Tool Around Rings. They're actually rather big for me, so I don't know if I'll be keeping them because I've tried to like size them to fit my fingers, but they're still like way too big for me. But this is what they look like. One is just like, um, what do you call it? Like a cylinder kind of look, and then this one is just... They're like really funky little designs. I really like this one, but it's so big on me. But it has like four little rhinestones in the middle, but it's super pretty. So it's three rings that come in the set. And then this is probably like my favorite piece out of all the stuff that I got. This is called the White Now Necklace from Mark. I actually wore this yesterday with like a gray with white lace overlay top. I'll uh, try and insert a picture if I have one. But it is such a stunning necklace. It's super heavy though. Like this is a really, really heavy piece. But it's so pretty. It has the rhinestones. It has the white stones. It has the gold. Another perfect piece for spring going into summer. I really, really like it. And then, cute little box here. This is like the Avon little emblem. Do not ask me what it stands for. I do not know. I'm supposed to know, but I really just, whatever, I don't care. Um, inside of that box is a little pouch. And then inside the little pouch, sunglasses. So exciting. Um, I get really, really bad headaches and migraines and stuff, and I don't know if you guys watched one of my other videos. My boyfriend had bought me a pair of sunglasses, but they weren't dark enough, so when I'm driving... Like, if, they're, if my sunglasses aren't dark enough, like, I get super insane headaches, like, because I have blue eyes and I'm prone for migraines. So, I wanted to try out some darker sunglasses, but I think, like, when I go sunglass shopping, I just think I look like an idiot and everything. So, I was like, oh, well, these ones are in my demo. Let me buy them and see. I really like them because they are dark. Like, the whole room just looks really dark right now, which is good because, like... I get migraines so easily, and especially with having like my lights around me, it's like, oh my god. By the end of the video, it's like, I need some Excedrin. But um, I really like these. It has the little insignia emblem on the sides. I really like these. And then inside the pouch, it also comes with like a little uh, cloth to like wipe them down. So fancy. Um, I did order the new, a new clinical um, overnight hydrating mask. I was really interested in trying this because I really, really liked my other Avon moisturizer, um, the Vital Night Cream. Freaking love that stuff. So I was hoping that this would be awesome too. I'm gonna I haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to test this out tonight. Ooh. So it comes in like a grayish looking jar, like in the catalogs it almost looks blue, but it's not blue at all, it's more gray. And it has like these little white beads inside, so let me... Mmm! It almost has 
like a citrusy smell to it. It's kind of, it doesn't smell like skincare like most of, you know, Avon skincare smells like. It smells like skincare. This one, oh my god, I'm not even gonna lie. It smells like vodka and lemons, but that could just be me because I had a lemon martini last night, and I don't know, I'm just like on this lemon kick for some weird reason. But it smells like my lemon martini that I had, which is kind of strange. But it it has a really nice, really bouncy, gelish texture to it, and it has like those little white beads inside, which I'm guessing are like the moisturizing beads. But like I said, I told you guys I have like super dry freaking skin in the winter, so... I'm always trying to keep my face hydrated, so I'm really interested in using this. I'll have to update you guys and let you know how I like it. Oh, before I forget, I did order the new Avon um, little lipstick caddy holder. It holds 12 lipsticks. I have two of Avon's in the front, just because I'm trying to show you guys that, like the different sizes and shapes that it holds. Avon's newer lipsticks are square, but they're like a rounded kind of square. And then like Milani's are a really rounded square. And then Maybelline's are like perfect square, which fit in here really nice. They don't really wiggle around too much. And then like I have my LA Girl lip stains in here that are just in a squeezy tube. So they kind of just bounce around. But I think this is so cute. It has like Avon written in pink on the front, which you guys probably can't see because I have the lipsticks in here. But totally loving this. So cute to go with all my other little acrylic holders that I have. I'm like turning into like the acrylic queen. It's pretty bad. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what my lip color is on that I have today, um, I had tested out that NYX lipstick that came in my Ipsy bag, but it came out so freaking pink on my lips, I was like, no way am I just wearing that. So I used this, and then I put on a Maybelline um, matte lipstick, and it's called Lust for Blush, and it's 665. And it's more of like a purpley pink, so it kind of dulled the color down because this, I'm not even kidding, was like a highlighter pink. It was just way, way too much for me. So I'm wearing both of those right now. I did order another Avon uh, makeup setting spray just because I like to have, you know, a million things on stock. I don't know why. I still have another one that I haven't even opened, and I'm not even done with my other bottle yet. But I just, I really like this setting spray. I totally recommend it if you do not want to go and spend like $30 on the Urban Decay one or anything like that. This spray does work. Like, it holds your makeup in, in place. It's almost hairspray, to be honest. Like, I really, really like this. I do wish that it had a different sprayer, like more of like a misty sprayer, because when I do spray this on my face, sometimes I have like little wet spots. I don't really like that, so I try to hold it even further away. So, but I love this stuff. And I think it's going on sale for like $6.99, so why not, right? I ordered two more of my, you know, holy grail mascaras that I can't live without, my Super Shocks. Love these. They're on sale right now for $4.99. <sighs> the cell phone. It never, never stops. And in my Avon review number one video that I did about the um, extra lasting eyeshadow sticks and the mascaras and the eye primer, when I was doing that, I thought that I had all the colors for the extra lasting shadow sticks. I was missing two, so I ordered the two that I was missing because I have to have all of them because I'm psycho. Um, I was missing Topaz Shimmer and Am Amnist. Amnist? Amnist? Amnist. I can't say it. Let's just, yeah. But they're, one is like a bronzy, um, golden kind of color, and the other is like more of like a taupey kind of color, like a bronzy taupe. I really like them both. I just have to have all of them. I have a problem. I can't help myself. So yeah, I got the last two. Love these things. And then Avon, back in January, had sent all of us Avon Makeup Mavens. Um, they were, what are these? They are Hookup Longwear Eyeshadows. Um, they had sent us one that was in green that actually won an award in Oprah's Magazine as like the 2014 favorites. So I really, I tested it out. I really, really liked it. So I ordered another one in like a plummy purple. What is the name of this one? It's called Purple Rain. And I really like these because you can either keep them like as the tube like this or you can stick it onto a hookup. But I like them like this because I really don't use those hookup things that often unless they're lip glosses and I'm throwing it in my purse. But I love the brushes. 
I just, I love these. They're like, either you can wear it alone, wear it as a base for another shadow. I like these a lot. They're extremely long lasting. Totally love these. I might be ordering more colors actually because why not? Brittany has to have all of them. I had ordered six of the extra lasting eyeshadow inks. They come in these cute little tubs. Um, I, I don't know if I ordered all the colors or most of the colors. Like I have an issue going on. But Extra Lasting makes like bomb products with Avon. So I mean, I love these. Yeah, I did order like a lot of colors. I don't even know why I ordered this many, but it's okay. Um, I got Totally Taupe, which is like a really nice shimmery taupe color. Infinite Teal, which is like that gorgeous turquoisey blue color. And then there's... Endless Purple, I think that's what it says, it has like another stamp over the name, how are you supposed to read these things? But it's just a purple color, this one is called Gold Gleam, so it's like a light pale gold color, Forever Bronze, a gorgeous brown bronze color, and what's this one? Always Merlot, which is like a gorgeous red color, which I'm so going to be loving that. Oh, gorgeous. The next thing that I got were more um, eyebrow pencils. I have been using my Anastasia Brow Wiz, but more or less I only use it to pretty much like shape out my eyebrows and then I fill in with these because if I was to use that to fill in my brows and shape, the thing would probably go be gone like within a couple weeks because it's just, there's not enough product in it for the price. So I shape my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then I go in with my Avon um, eyebrow pencils and I have the three in dark brown and then I have two in blonde. What I do is when I'm shaping, I don't go all the way to the um, inner of my brow. I start like towards the like middle and then do my arch. But then I take my blonde and I do like the outside and blend it together so it doesn't look so weird. Hopefully my brows don't look weird. Oh my god, I hope not. I don't know. I think they look okay. They look better than they used to. I've been, I'm like the happiest I've been with my brows in like a long time because everybody knows I hate my eyebrows so since I got that Anastasia thing and been doing this I love it love 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 it's not that bad so but I don't know if you guys have noticed my hair okay well let me explain back in January I went and spent $150 at Ulta to have my hair done I wanted it cut layered and um, I had two colored things done I had like the, it was supposed to be really, really dark, and then my ends were supposed to be not bleach blonde, but like a golden blonde, like that ombre sort of effect. But like my hair, like all of it is like lightening up, like my blonde is just trying to come back through. It's so freaking annoying. It's so annoying because I spent all that money and like it's washing out, and I've been using like color shampoo and conditioners. I've, this is actually, you're gonna like probably be grossed out, but this is like three day hair. I haven't washed my hair in three days. I'm actually trying to let it go a couple of days because I'm trying to let it grow back out. I want my hair to be like down here again. That's where it was last year before I cut it in June because in the summertime I just get annoyed with long hair so I'll probably lop it off anyway but um, I'm trying to let it grow again and the only way to do that is not to put so much heat on it and not to wash it all the time and I am the type of person who could just wash my hair every single day but I have been like laying off the shampoo and just letting it go for like two three days tops and then I'll wash it and I just use my dry shampoo in between but like this is feeling nasty can't wait to wash it tonight but that's why I'm using like so many different eyebrow pencils because my hair is lightening up. It's kind of annoying. I spent all that money and it's like washing out. What kind of a permanent hair color is that? And then I ordered two of the Ultra Luxury Eyeliners in Eggplant in Midnight Blue just so I can play around with some other colors. And then I got three of the Super Shock Eyeliners in Plumful, Intense Brown, and Aqua Pop. 
The intense brown I actually got to go in my waterline because I'm trying to get away from having a black waterline all the time. So I thought maybe like a dark brown I would like it. And I love, this is the, the brand that I use for my black. It's the Super Shock. I freaking love these. So I'm kind of hoping to play around with some other kinds of colors to get away from my usual makeup routine, I guess. And Mark is coming out with a spring fling like makeup little line, which they do for most of all the season. So they had this trio eye. It's all pinks for the most part. Um, I love these. When they come out with all the other ones for the holidays, I always get them. But this one's called Spring Fling Long Wearing Shadow Trio. And they're just like pinks with a little bit of shimmer in them. I'm really excited to try them out. Pink on my eyes usually makes me look really sick. So I'm hoping that I do like these. And then they also came out with a blush. And this one's called First Blush. And it's like this really, really pretty blush. There's, the shimmer is only in the middle where that lightest color is, so you just take and like swirl around and put it on the apples of your cheeks. Super excited to try that out. And then they also came out with a new touch and glow um, shimmer cubes. I call them shimmer bricks because they look like bricks to me, but they're called shimmer cubes. Is that not freaking gorgeous? Like the coral colors in there, are you kidding me? That is going to be so flippin' pretty for summer. Like, not even spring. I'm going straight to summer with this. Like, can you see this? It goes like bronze on the top, and then it goes into like these gorgeous pinks and reds and corals, and yes. Totally perfect for freaking summer. You just take your brush, swirl it around. It's just going to be so gorgeous. I cannot freaking wait to use this. Yeah, let's just drop it on yourself too. Alright, let me go over some prices with you guys really quick so you have an idea of how much things are going to be. The Avon Lipstick Caddy, that's it there in the book. This is Campaign 8, where you can just go on my website and look it up. So cute. I mean, it's I have a million lipsticks, so I have a ton of other acrylic trays, but hey, these things are like the bomb, okay? Perfect for lipsticks. So if you want to get more than one, feel free. I mean, I have, wait until I do like an updated vanity tour. You guys are going to be like, what is wrong with this girl? The um, makeup setting spray right now, like I said, is $6.99. And my mascara, my super shock. It's $4.99 right now. Next campaign is actually buy one, get one half off, so you guys can decide where, whenever you want to order. The Ultra Luxury Brow Liners and Eyeliners are going for $5 each. At the moment, they have um, lip liners too. The new, um, a new Clinical Overnight Hydrating Mask just went into the brochure for its opening price for $24.99. I'm extremely excited to test this out. I cannot wait because I really, really love that Vital. And the other cool thing is it's when you buy a mask, you get any night cream for $15. So, so what I'm going to recommend to you guys is if you have not tried the Vital night cream yet, buy the new mask for $24.99 and spend the extra $15 because I know you guys are going to love this stuff. I just know it. I love it. It smells so good. Like, no joke. Oh, I have this page marked off, but I don't even have the products to show you. My boyfriend is, like, obsessed with that Invigorating Pore Scrub by Clear Skin. It's this is the middle one right here. Like, he freaking loves it. I used to like it a lot, too, but I use my Clarisonic now, so I don't use the scrub. Um, but it is so nice. It has this wonderful cooling effect. It's, like, perfect for summer, but it really cleans your pores out. Those are $3.99 right now. They're originally $5.50. I love that stuff, and I actually wait for it to go on sale so I can buy a bunch. And then Mark's stuff is not even in here for me to, like, tell you guys the prices. I'll have to, like, put them down below in the description box when I find out. But there's, like, a picture of the white now necklace and then the blush and the new eye trio. Okay, let's see. Next book. So the ring and necklace that I have on right now 
It's going into the book for $15.99. That's it right here on the model. That's all the prices that I have for right now, so I will put all of the other stuff that I missed down in the description box so you guys can see, and I'll leave a link to my website in case you want to browse, or if you have an Avon person, go and shop on her website, or tell her you want to order something if you liked anything here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Avon haul. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them in uh, the comment box below for me so I can get back to you. I do try to get back to everybody who comments, like, right away because it comes straight to my phone. So, um, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing any more of my insane videos. Um, if you have any um, suggestions for me for future videos or anything like that, please let me know. I'm always interested. And I do leave my email in the description box in case anyone wants to contact me. And I had gotten a really strange email. I don't even think they're subscribed to my channel. But it was somebody saying that Avon's paying me to make these videos. And I'm like, not at all. I wish, but not at all. This is all stuff that I've purchased with my Avon credit that I have. So I pay it back or whatever when I'm... You know, when it's due, I, Avon does not just supply me with things. The only things they ever supplied me with that I did not personally pay for was my Makeup Maven bundle boxes. But I won those when I won Avon Makeup Maven. Like, any Avon Makeup Maven will tell you that. We do not get shipped things for free anymore at all. So, Avon does not pay me to do these videos, if you were wondering. But yeah, so Avon does not pay me, they do not supply me anymore, no nothing. This is all my stuff that I purchased for myself. Okay, end of story, end of ramble. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Three days I have not washed my hair. Like, I forgot to even mention, I'm sitting on my couch, so if you hear, like, noises, it's my couch. It makes some weird freaking noises. I don't know why, it's brand freaking new. Why do I ramble like that? It's like, <laughs> yes. You want to see something crazy, right? That is what I'm talking about. Like, crazy psycho bitch hair. Oh, yeah. Like, um, um, yeah. Like, check out my blog. I'm on Instagram. My Facebook. I mean, yeah. You can go over and, like, like it if you want.